so it's pretty chilly here in uh, in Germany but we are trying this new low 75 in this wonderful peanut color and I absolutely love it it's uh, it's just the best I'm here with Felix, the head of development for Reese Miller. This is not, it's not just my favorite e-bike or my favorite e-cargo bike. This is one of my favorite things on the planet. This has brought me so much joy, my family so much joy, and so many of my friends and customers so much joy. Let's have a real deep dive into it and real, really learn about it. And we won't just talk today about the differences in between the new Load 4 but let's talk about the load in general and, yeah. and talk about why it's such an amazing thing. And um, so I, I guess, should we start from the latest things about the new Load 4? Yeah, and we, can, we can start with the, with the changes from the Load to the Load 4. Okay. And uh, the main change is um, the new Bosch Smart System. Um, with the new Bosch Smart System, we have the new um, LED controller remote. Um, we have different display options. Um, we will have two battery options. At the moment, there is no dual battery option available yeah. Yeah. from Bosch, but we will have 545 watt hours, yeah. and we will also have 725 watt hours, which is quite good for a cargo bike. Yeah. Um, hopefully, a dual bat version is coming up within the next seasons, yeah. hopefully. So that would be 1,450 Watt hours. Yes. That's a Fingers lot. Fingers crossed for yeah, that. <laughs> that's a lot. That's the main change. Yeah. But on the other hand, we also have a change in the frame supplier. Yeah. So we now purchase the frames from a Portuguese supplier. Yeah. So um, it's a, let's say, more sustainable supply yeah. chain. Yeah. Uh, the ABS option. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Which yeah, is yeah. a really, really nice feature yeah. for a long john cargo bike because yeah. when the um, front load is without any load, yeah. um, then you have no weight on the front wheel and yeah. it tends to yeah, block. I've, I mean, I, I ride the, the Load 60 um, uh, as my main bike. And um, I mean, that is just, oh God, it's so good. And the 75 is, is more or less identical. It literally, the only difference in between 60 and 75 is obviously the 15 centimeters of the flatbed. Other than that, the bikes are identical. Although this beautiful peanut color is exclusive to the 75. Yes. Um, and then the colors of the other colors are. So the Load 75, yeah. it's peanut yeah. mud and cold gray mud. Yeah. For the Load 60, it's tundra gray and cold gray. And cold gray mud. Yeah, okay. And um, so only two color choices per bike. Yes. This is a good question for you. Why is it called Load 4? 75 or load 460. What's what's does the four have relevance yeah, to? Yeah, so the main reason is on our website uh, we will have two load versions. Yeah. The one with the old Bosch system yeah. and the new smart system. Yeah. And to have a differentiation yeah. between both, we have the load as it's known, and now we have the load fourth generation. So in total, fourth generation. We had okay. the 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 load with the. Gen 1 drive unit, then yeah. we had the load with the Gen 2 drive unit, yeah. with the Gen 4 drive unit, yeah. and now we switch to the smart system, okay. so it's from the frame base, yeah. the fourth generation. It's, it's the Mark 4, Model yeah. 4. Yeah. yeah, okay, That's, uh, that clears that part up. Just, just, to, just to let everybody know, the smart system is, um, is a very um, uh, interesting, quite long to explain, um, piece of technology. So we're not going to go into too much detail on, on that. We're, we're making another video with Bosch going much deeper into that. But just on the surface, basically it, it, it has much more connectivity. It's future proof so you can bring in new apps in the future to over the air update the bike. It has a very clever handbrake system, for example, when you're pushing it up a hill. If you stop, uh, say, I don't know, one of the kids dropped a hat out of the front, you could be kind of pushing it up and then someone drops, you could literally, rather than try and kind of, you know, do it with the brakes and not take your hand off, it will handbrake for you and you could kneel down, pick something up and put it back in. Or you could have a little break and have a chat with someone. Just 
very clever pieces of technology that are coming out from Bosch and, um, and Reese and Muller have integrated the uh, ABS system. Bosch have done all sorts of different things like uh, alarms, trackers and all sorts of things and we will go into that in a separate video. In terms of the actual Reese and Muller load series, let's talk about that and why it's so spectacular. So what would you like to say is one of your highlight features, Felix? So I think the, the most obvious highlight is the what we call control technology, means the suspension of the rear frame. So in each riding condition, you will have the best setup. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's the main feature on that bike. And also that you can adjust the bike to each riding position you want to. Yeah. So for example, uh, me and my wife, we are using the um, Load 75 and she's riding always in that kind of position. So the um, stem in upright position. And as soon as I want to ride the bike, I open the, the quick release over here. And then I go into a more sporty position. Yeah. So just for context, you're quite a tall dude, um, yeah. Felix. You're yeah. six, five. So two, two meter, uh, one meter 90. Okay, yeah. one meter 90. So that's uh, six, three and a half, I think. Yeah. And, uh, and your wife is, is not as tall as you? No, yeah. one, one meter 65. So th there you go. I mean, you can basically be from, I would say as, as little as five foot up to about six foot six to ride this bike. So it really does cater for everybody. Um, and, uh, and then while we're on that note, with the children in the front, now this has always been a really good talking point, is you know, how old can the children be? When are they too big? What's the weight limit? The weight limit used to be 100 kilos, but Reese and Muller now recommend that it's 60 kilos is the most you put for the handling optimal point that they yeah. consider is safe. With the age of the kids, it's, it's up to you. I mean, I find my kids, are, they're quite big. I mean, Wolf wears clothes up to about seven years old and Astrid uh, nearly five, four to four to five year old clothing. Now I find that when they're wearing their winter jackets, um, it's quite tight in the front. Now I've probably got another year or so. Um, so I would say two kids in the front, it's like kind of eight is uh, eight and six is kind of as much as you can really get to in the front. Yeah. But so, so I think especially for the load 60, but yeah. then you have to buy a load 75. Exactly, exactly. And then you have one kid in this yeah. position and yeah. the other one yeah. is a V. Um, yeah, exactly. Other points, so when you were talking about the control technology before, now for yeah. me, control technology means comfort and safety. It means that it's, it's gonna allow you to have a much better experience, off-road, on-road, potholes, sleeping policemen, whatever it may be. But most of all, it's, you know, if, if you, know, you went over a bump and you had to apply the brakes or someone swerved out in front of you, it keeps that back wheel really, really set in the ground. So you can have optimal braking capacity, grip um, and, and balance. And, and once you've had a control technology bike, you wouldn't go back in my opinion. I mean, it's just so good. Um, and I was, uh, I was riding the Paxa, new Paxa with the control technology yesterday as well. And that is really impressive. It really improved the Paxter for me. This is where the control technology really kicks in. And you'll see it because I found this perfect pothole to share with you what it can do. Just delightful. If you're enjoying this video, hit the like button, click subscribe and tick the notification bell to make sure you're up to date with all things e-bikes. It really does help us out. Thank you. What else have we got here, Felix? We've got, this has got the GX option. The GX right. is, is a fantastic option. I definitely would recommend that. Um, just purely for going on adventures and going off the chosen path, getting lost in the forest with the family on a Sunday and just not getting caught out in a bit of slippery mud. Um, also with a constant bead, it's, it's great for typical road riding. So another fantastic option with these bikes is the very sleek aerodynamic rain cover that you can roll up the sides. And it looks like that. And it is a great option. Friends of mine 
leave it on throughout the whole year and just roll the sides up in the summer months. Personally, I like to take mine off, but uh, each to their own, it's very easy to take on and off. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to transport it with you while you're riding, so most people would take it off and leave it you know, at, at their home or wherever uh, most suitable. Um, the child configuration options um, on the load 75, I mean, this is the typical um, setup here, which is three seats with a footwell. Um, the footwell is great to store stuff in as well. Um, and um, if you did want the kids to have a little rest, um, you would not use the footwell and you might bring them forward into business class so they can have a real comfortable little sleep and not have their heads bobbing around like that. Um, and um, some people like to go for the high side walls as well. You know, in urban environments, personally, I, I, you know, I don't think that's really necessary, but if you've got really naughty children or maybe a dog, um, it's, a, it's a good option. Yeah, I don't know if we want to show um, closing the, the foot well. Yeah. Um, it's just opening the belt system here and then you can close it and you can also just put the children in the more cozy or the sleeping position. The practicality of the lock is amazing. This lock, I will lock my bike most places in London and just with that. Now it is very difficult to get that off and it's very difficult to pick the bike up and run away with it. So. I mean, it's a heavy bike, this. Do you know what the total weight is? So we're starting at 35 kilograms. So um, you, can, on the... you can lift it, but I mean, it's, it's a heavy thing to do, which is why that lock is so good. And then the stand as well, like to, to park it when you're outside the shop, you know, you just use the, you use the weight of the bike, touch your foot down, put it up, leave the kids in it. They are not going anywhere. That is really, really strong. And um, if your kids are anywhere like mine, that <laughs> sometimes want to just take a little stroll and you're outside a busy shop, I don't know, picking up some groceries or whatever it may be, it's really useful. You can just literally leave the kids in it, pop into the shop quickly, get what you need. And um, you know, it's, it's just very, very practical. Obviously I'm, I've been riding these low cargo bikes now for a number of years, but just, <laughs> Even as a new rider, when you ride this, it's nimbleness and kind of going in between gaps and it really doesn't feel as long as it looks. It's just absolutely awesome. One more feature I think we can mention is uh, the Tektro uh, C 2.3. Yeah. It's a little bit uh, thicker um, disc. Yeah. Um, so there's more heat resistance of, yep. of the brake. Um, and it's yeah, developed for that cargo purpose. Yeah, with this wheelbase and weight distribution, it is surprising how well one of these can stop. I'm, I'm talking about you know, a few meters yeah. at high speed. It's astonishing. So um, yeah, there's some real special things about this bike that you'll learn once uh, you know, visiting the store and, and, and having a test ride. We always have these in the store. They are one of our most popular bikes at fully charged. And um, yeah, it's, it's great. And I'd like to make a point of it as well is we, we have a, a basically a crash in our store now where families come in with their children and they try it out as a whole family. It's a great option to do. And, uh, and then while we're talking through the bikes with you afterwards, they can sit and play with um, toys and books and do coloring and, and whatever. And it's a very popular thing to do on a Saturday. And we'd highly recommend booking though, if you do want to have a full hour slot to really run through these bikes and maybe compare it to the Paxter, for example, which is, a, which is a great thing to do. Um, because really all of these bikes are catered to individuals in, in a real perfect way. And that's what we're here for is to, is to explain that to you and match make the perfect cargo bike for your needs. You've got to come and try one of these out. And it is just a life changing experience. I don't know what I would have done if I had a small family and these didn't exist. 
I mean, I just, I just don't know how I lived, how I would have, because I didn't. I didn't ever live with that one because I was so excited to put my little boy into one of the Risa Milicogo bikes that I just never experienced life without one. But it's daunting, the thought of it, if I had to. So I think it can change many young families' lives to own a cargo bike. So this is the best of the best. Come and check it out and, uh, and see what it's all about. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks, Felix. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.